Hi, this is Jeff Linderman, an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'll be going over what's new in SolidWorks Plastics 2018. There are enhancements in new features within the meshing procedure, the process condition inputs, the boundary conditions, and the results. Let's run through the SolidWorks Plastics workflow to see what's new in SolidWorks Plastics 2018. I'm starting with this multi-body part model of a vent tube. A new enhancement in the 2018 release is the ability to recognize 3D CAD geometry as a mold domain. So with that in mind, I utilize the SOLIDWORKS mold tools to create the corn cavity inserts, and I am using 3D geometry to represent the water lines as well. With any simulation study, the quality of your mesh is key. For, so for 2018, SOLIDWORKS Plastics has changed the mesh architecture. Let's look at the new enhancements. I'm creating a virtual mold base to utilize along with the mold inserts and the 3D water lines to show the new enhancements in the meshing procedures. Up until this point, we've only been able to utilize a virtual mold mesh in an analysis. So we have cavity domains, mold inserts, cooling channels, and the virtual mold. So in 2018, creation of mesh groups enables an easier identification of dependent domains, cavity, runner, and inserts, and independent domains, mold, and cooling channels during the surface meshing. For all parts inside a dependent domain, the mesh is compatible in areas where the parts come into contact. We will mesh the dependent and independent domains. Let's look at the summary. We have a good waterproof mesh, meaning no holes and gaps in the mesh. The maximum aspect ratio is acceptable, so the simulation would actually run from this point. However, let's look at the bad elements and see if we can improve these. Previously, we could utilize the leader lines tool to direct us to the bad elements. In which case, we could backtrack and do more mesh refinement to try to correct these. Now we have the fix button. One click and done. Let's look at a few more enhancements in SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2018 by going through setup and results. Once we have a mesh, we assign the polymer, coolant, and mold materials. The next step is to set the process parameters. New in 2018, the temperature criteria for short shots has been added. With this setting enabled, the analysis will default to the value that is the glass transition temperature from the material selected in the database. This will monitor the temperature of the elements within the flow front, and if any of them drop below this value, the analysis will indicate a short shot. Now let's look at the boundary condition enhancements. The injection location tool has been moved up to the top, since that is typically the next step in the workflow. New to 2018, we are able to specify the clamp force in the machine opening directions. We can either specify X, Y, or Z direction or simply click on a face to assign a direction. Now we can also specify elements to exclude such as undercuts or areas that would have a side pull. There's also an enhancement within the warp boundary settings that utilizes inertial relief or center of mass instead of having to assign three nodes to create a plane. Now that all the setup is complete, let's look at the new enhancements within results. A new result is within the pack phase, density in of packing. 
What this result will show us is the density of plastic in certain areas after the packing phase of the process is complete. We can use the measure tool to show specific readings in specific areas. Since this part is molded out of an ABS plastic with a density of around 1.04 grams per cubic centimeter, we can see that the areas measured here is lower than that. This would indicate an area that is under packed, which may cause defects such as voids or sink. At this point, we could go back to the pack settings and increase the packing time or pressures to try to get a more uniform density throughout the part and optimize our processing. And finally, since we have run a warp study, we have the ability to export the warp geometry with non-uniform values assigned. This allows us to scale up or down in certain directions and utilize this exported geometry to create cores and cavities that compensate for the resultant shrinkage or warpage or export the geometry and utilize it in an assembly to check for fit and function. That concludes what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2018 Plastics. We saw that there are powerful enhancements to the mesh architecture and procedures. There's now an ability to assign machine clamp force direction based on a face with the option to exclude areas from the calculation as well. We now have a setting to assign temperature criteria for a short shot. There was a new result of density at the end of pack where we can measure plastic density in, spe in a specific area of the part to help optimize the molding process. And we can now export warped part geometry scaled in the X, Y, and Z directions with plus or minus scale. Thank you. This has been Jeff Linderman, an applications engineer for Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.